Hey, that's um, It's always nice to introduce guests on the show. And we have a special guest this evening. I guess the busiest group in show business, Mr. Tommy Scott and the Hollywood Hillbilly. Good to see you, Tommy. Good to see you, Ralph. It's always great to be on the Arthur Smith Show. Thank you, sir. Now, as I said, this group is busy. And not only are they busy, this is the most colorful group you're going to see anywhere, too. Look at that, would you? I'll have to go along with that, right? <laughs> that's the <laughs> truth. Hey, Tom, I understand you got a record out that's, that's moving along nicely in a lot of areas, and I'd like for you to do it for our audience. It's called Don't Blame the Car. Blame the Devil at the Wheel. Let's hear it. What about it? Here we go. Well, you see the car? Yes, we see the car. Well, it's a pretty car. Yes, it's a pretty car. Now you can trust the car. Yes, we trust the car. Because it's a good car. Yes, it's a good car. Roll on, roll on, sweet chariot. Don't blame the car, blame the devil at the wheel. Roll on, roll on, sweet chariot. Don't blame the car, blame the devil at the wheel. Now, brothers and sisters, both near and far, yeah. I'm taking my text on the automobile car. Yeah. I'm going to preach about that beautiful, innocent traveling machine. Yeah. Proudly wait in the showroom just to be seen. Yeah. Now, some folks say that a car creates a lot of sin. Yeah. But look back over your shoulder where it's been. Yeah. And if there's been some sort of a dirty deal, yeah. well, don't blame the car. Blame the devil at the wheel. Roll on, roll on, sweet chariot. Don't blame the car, blame the devil at the wheel. Roll on, roll on, sweet chariot. Don't blame the car, blame the devil at the wheel. Now the car can't help what you make it do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you better be glad that she talk about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because some gal been telling how she had to get out and walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know that's going to make all the good people come. Yeah. Hallelujah, brother. Don't be a dirty heel. Yeah. And go around bad in the automobile. Because yeah. you can go to hell for lying just the same as if you see. Yeah. So don't blame the car. Blame the devil at the wheel. Oh, oh, oh. Sweet chariot, don't blame the car, blame the devil at the wheel. Roll on, roll on, sweet chariot, don't blame the car, blame the devil at the wheel. Now you claim the car payment, take all of your dough, and you know darn well that that ain't so. No, no, no. You go out, spend your money, and have a lot of fun, no, no. then say it took it all. To make the motor run. Your kids got no clothes nor half enough to eat oh, while you out fooling around with somebody in the back seat. Yeah. Hey, you better stop looking, listen for somebody squeal. Oh. And don't blame the car, blame the devil at the wheel. Roll on, roll on, sweet chariot. Don't blame the car, blame the devil at the wheel. Roll on, roll on, sweet chariot. Don't blame the car, blame the devil at the wheel. Roll on, sweet chariot. Don't blame the car, blame the devil at the wheel. Roll on, sweet chariot. Don't blame the car, blame the devil. Tom, I'll tell you, that's good. Hey, how are you? It's good to see you, Tom. My brother Ralph was out here a while ago, and he was telling me that he saw a man out there in the backyard of this place and he's about seven feet tall. He's a cowboy and one cowboy. of the biggest. Who was it? Who was it? Yeah. The one and only Sunset Kit Carson. Bring him on here. I want to talk with him for a minute. Hello, Sunset. How you doing, man? Oh, I'm fine. Listen. Listen, it's good to have you. I have thrilled so many times in the movies watching you kill them outlaws. That's good to see you in person. <laughs> If you hadn't have stunted your growth, you'd have been a big one, wouldn't you? Yeah, they well, turned too much to... down from your feet. That's the only thing that happened. Yeah, but they left enough <laughs> up there, I'll say. Uh, and you're traveling with the Tommy Scott Show now. Yes, sir. I understand that his old sidekick, Colonel Tim McCoy, is on a world cruise, and you're taking his place while he's gone. Yes, I'll be taking Tim's place for a month. On this oh, that's good. Yeah, you know, Tim's been with me for 11 years, and he's yeah. taking this world tour, and he hasn't seen his daughter in England in about 17 years, so he's going to drop by to see her over there. And we're just tickled pink to have old Sunset to come in here That's and good. travel with us. I didn't know Sunset played no guitar. Do you play guitar? Oh, no, he don't play no guitar. 
No. Do you play a harmonica? No, no, Alf. He don't play no guitar, no harmonica. Do you play the fiddle? No, he don't play the fiddle either. Well, what does he do? Well, I'll tell you what he does. He is one of the greatest sharpshooters you've ever seen. Oh, listen, I've always admired that. I admire a man who can shoot a gun. But the one I admire most is that cat that stands against that target. <laughs> I love you. I wouldn't do that for three dollars. For three dollars? No, I wouldn't. Well, I tell you one thing. You don't have to worry about him because he shot targets from some of the most fancy. Well, you tell him about. Who, it. You done shot targets over who's head? Well, I shot targets from the King and Queen of Siam, Sands, the President of the Philippines, mm -hmm. Madam Ching Kai Shek, Governor Sir Robert Black. General use fighting forces. Well, with a list uh, like that, we <laughs> ought to get a volunteer from our audience to yeah. come up. That's oh, okay. Idea. Let's try to get a volunteer see. and uh, see. You know, Ralph, we, we left our targets at home for the boys here at the TV station fix this one up. And we didn't, we didn't bring anything to shoot. I see a little girl sitting out there in the audience. Got yeah, what's that blue? Come, come here, young lady. Bring your blue in Come up here, young lady, and let me talk with you just a minute. Do you, you climb right up there on that box. Do you know any, you got any last requests? Well, <laughs> you're braver than I am, and we're going to let Sunset Carson shoot that balloon they gave you when you come in the studio. You mind holding it on your head and let him shoot the balloon up? Let's try it. What about okay, I hope he don't do what I think he might do. Ooh, I hope he don't do what I think he might do. You, you know what? When you finish up here, Tommy Scott's going to give you $5 for doing this. That's what he told me. And we're going to have that gun ready to go in just a minute. We never load a gun until he gets ready to shoot it, I'm sure. Oh, mercy. Here we go now. Close your eyes. Oh, mercy, I wouldn't do that. No, sunset, I would. Congratulations. Tommy. Don't say nothing to him. Why don't you get over there and let him shoot one over your head? Uh, no, I've got a better idea, haven't you, sunset? Yeah. Let's uh, let Alf do it. Let him hold one in his mouth. Yeah, that's going on. You want me to stand? You're crazy. Yeah, crazy. What would I do if he hit me? Uh, well, we'll get us another boy. You don't know what you're talking about, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> Hand on, me that balloon over on, here. I'll get one for you. Yeah, let me get a balloon here. Now, listen. You ain't nervous, are you, Sunset? No, I'm a little bit nervous. You're a little bit How come you're nervous? Well, I've never done this before. <laughs> oh, mercy. Let's hope you do it this time. No. You got nothing to worry about, Al. If I hit the target, you got nothing to worry about. If you hit it, you got nothing to worry about. I got nothing to worry about. And if I miss, you still got nothing to worry about. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. If you <laughs> shoot me with that thing, I'll never speak to you again. <laughs> you, All right. you tell me when I get right here now. Okay. Mm. Well, he cut that off just about two inches from his nose, you think? Right. Mm, go ahead. Hey! Oh! oh, mercy, I'll say I'll be no more good today. Congratulations to you and me both. And, Tommy, thank you for coming along. It's always our pleasure. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs>